guys, Lady Heliquin here, back again with another Epic 7 video, and today we're going to do some Wyvern stuff. Um, some of you guys were asking me how my Wyvern teams are going, and uh, they're going. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to do it manual as we go along. I've got like a fucking 40% win rate on auto, though. <laughs> um, but that's just because of like speed tuning and things need working out. My Furious is only like level 40. Um, so I did recently switch, uh, to Chloe and Furious for my two, my Death Breaker and my DPS. Um, I did have, you know, standard Angelica, SSB, Alexa, Terranor Guard, but I found that Terranor Guard, like, after a while, for me, anyway, was getting, like, real unreliable with the debuffs, or with the Death Break. So I had him on, you know, um, Junkyard Dog and... Uh, and Alexa, obviously on DDJ, but I really like Furious here, um, yeah, it kind of sucks that you have to mola him and everything, especially with our mola deficit right now, but I really like him for, you know, you can hold Song of the Stars, you can, um, and he has a 100% chance to, um, death break if you mola it, I don't have that one, so it's, he's at 90% right now, but, you know, still pretty good in all honesty um we have plenty of debuffs for him and all that stuff especially with chloe and i love magic mail because like honestly i recently got chloe again because usually i feed my chloe's to my maid <laughs> but when i got her this time because i got her out of um the past mystic banner and it was like um what was it s tenny and then chloe was you know the five star there and I happened to pull her, and I was like, uh, I was about to feed her, actually. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe not. And then when Elfelt came out, and she wasn't what I expected, because I had everything ready for her. I had her molas ready. I had all that shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to six-star fully awaken and mola her. So who do I pick? And I was like, well, I might as well just work on my Wyvern team then. It's the perfect time. So I put it in Chloe. Most of them. Not all of them. Um, so she's still missing a couple. She's missing in her S2 and S3. No, I lied. Her S1 and S3, I think. I don't remember. But I definitely prefer um, prefer them, honestly. Again, it sucks for the molas, but... I mean, in the long run, I think it'd be safer, especially when I get everything... Um, speed-tuned in the way that I want, and more HP on my Angelica. But I mean, for what this team does, I, I like it. It's just, you know, I need Molas for Chloe. I need more HP for my Angelica. Because I think my Angelica has, like, 18k. 18k and, like, I think 13k. Or 13k. Oh. <laughs> Three, uh, 1.3k um, defense, I think. Imagine 13k defense. <laughs> she would be a fucking wall. <laughs> And Candlestick is, like, godlike on her here. Um, even though she might die now. Oh, no, she's not. She's still alive. <laughs> she's still alive. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> but I really, like, I really like this, honestly. I mean, you could totally do Terranor Guard. Um, Alexa, just fine. But I think I prefer it this way. Just, be, just for the sake of um, reliability. You know. So I was using I was using um, the same team before, but obviously it was Angelica, SSB, Alexa, Terranor Guard um, for my Wyvern 11 runs, and they were like real fast runs. They were like a minute 30 second kind of shit. Um, and I did auto it once with that with that team in Wyvern 13, but it just took it took like three minutes, which is kind of shocking for me. But you know. And I mean, this, you know, manual obviously takes longer too, but it's at least consistent. I think I failed once on manual, but that was because I fucked up Angelica's heal. Um, but again, once I get everything tuned out, I think this is a good team to run, personally. Um, if you can get good damage out of your Chloe and SSB, then you could probably three-man this team with Angelica, SSB, and Chloe. 
and then just run Angelica on Idol's cheer. She has to be tanky though, so she can, you know, <laughs> stay alive. But I think that would work actually. That actually sounds pretty cool. <laughs> now I want to do it. Now I really want to do it. But there you go. Done. It only took like eight minutes. <laughs> but, you know, for what it is, it works. And I'll fucking take it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'll just show you guys, you know, their stats. It's not that great. Like I said, still tinkering with things. But here it is in general. So my Angelica is relatively slow, actually. She's like one, let's just say 170. Um, like I said, 18k. Oh, she actually has um, 1.4k defense. Interesting. Okay, so we got that. She still has her weapon that needs upgrading. Her weapon, her helmet, and her chest, um, and uh, candlestick. Is it max? I think it's max, right? Should be. Yeah. So we have to finish doing that. Um, so she can. Her survivability is much more prominent. <laughs> um, and then Chloe. So I have Chloe on destruction and what crit? Yeah, crit destruction. Um, she's got a couple molas, good amount of crit damage, uh, crit chance. I could probably do with bringing down her crit chance and bringing up her crit damage somehow, because you know with Furious who's bumping up the crit chance anyway, plus you know uh, elemental advantage, she could probably deal with like eighty percent or something like that crit chance, maybe even like seventy five or something. So I can, there's room for improvement there. Her attack can go up a little bit more. Um, DDJ needs to be maxed. Um, and I have this EE on her for um, when she does her S3, it death breaks the Wyvern too, so that's even more death break and more debuff, so that's great. The Wyvern can resist it though, he has done it a couple of times. Um, another one that's okay, is I think one of them, yeah, I can't click it, but one of them gives her an extra turn, which is like, huh. Eh. I mean, if you're like, if you have a really reliable death breaker, then maybe you could do that extra turn thing, but I always find that it's probably a better thing to just have that E on her. And then my SSB, <laughs> my SSB is a PVP SSB. Like I didn't even build her for Wyvern because <laughs> I'm scared to like change her, honestly. <laughs> um, but anyway, she's just like slow and damagey, really. Um, for Wyvern, I probably would um, swap Drink for a DDJ, but I haven't done it yet. I mean, maybe in my next run, I'll probably try it out and see what happens. Because um, DDJ is actually kind of important for Wyvern 13, so I'll probably end up doing that. And then Furious, um, he's the only fast one out of, in here. I think he's like 200 something speed. It's not even that crazy. Oh, I lied. Oh, I didn't change his boots. I forgot. I swapped it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I have him at 100% crit. Don't, don't ask. Okay, like I said, this is totally scuffed, but I just wanted to make sure that it worked. <laughs> um, so I'll swap that. Don't worry about it. I'll change that, get him much faster. He was 200 speed before, I think. Yeah, it was the boots that I swapped. I, I um, took Terranor, Terranor Guard's boots off by an accident. Oops. All right, well, we'll fix it. And then Song of the Stars, obviously. Haven't even fucking enhanced this damn thing, which I have to do. Um, but I mean, shit, for what it is, it works, man. <laughs> Just have to, you know, switch it up. But you guys could totally use, you know, pretty much everyone is viable. Um, a lot of people are like, well, why don't you run Dizzy? But honestly, for me, like, unless you build Dizzy, like, kind of dps -y, like, specifically for a Wyvern, like, you can't use a PvP dizzy here because i feel like you don't have enough damage like unless you have your alexa or your chloe or your cigarette or your corinne does a lot of damage i don't really think that it's worth it to really to just use dizzy for the debuffs you know what i mean like you're gonna make your run a lot slower you'll make it safer because you know maybe he'll get hit with the decreased attack buff but in the long run, I think the run will be really, really slow. But, I mean, shit, if it works and you can auto it, have at it. It'll just take 10 minutes. <laughs> but, anyway, guys, that's it for right now. Um, let me know what your teams are, what your kind of win rate is, um, and we can discuss it and help each other out, yeah? So, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.